Hello, this is Chris Menard. Microsoft Word has a new feature that's coming out called Rewrite. I'm going to give you a quick overview of it right now because I already have it on my machine. So I have Word running. I only typed in one sentence, so before I do Rewrite, let me show you a couple other new features that came out recently. Spell check is very popular. If I click inside this document, the F7 function key will turn on spell check. But spell check now pops up into what's called the editor, which is a task pane on the right. It's telling me I have two words that are possibly misspelled. So when I select spelling, one thing that I like now about the editor, when it's check spelling, it gives you not only suggestions, but it gives you uh, other meanings of those suggestions. So what I meant to type is we are continually expanding but it has these other three options in here, but expanding is correct. So I just need to left click it. It changes it. Then it jumps to the next word. Operations was pretty easy. I'm going to click OK. Spell check's done. One more little item before I run rewrite. Grammar in the editor, if you go to settings, it jumps you into File, Options, Proofing, and Grammar and Refinement Settings right here. I just want to point this out. Grammar is a topic. I didn't change in these settings. These are already checked. But I was looking in here. There's the next topic, next section. Clarity and Conciseness, but look at the next one. Formal Language, Inclusive Language. They have all this in here right now. So possibly if you're in the HR department, you may find this very beneficial. I'm going to hit cancel for now though. Cancel again. So here is rewrite. Let's say in this document, let's say it's pretty lengthy and I keep using the word expanding. I can right click the word expanding. I'm not even going to select it. When you right click, there is rewrite. The editor still appears on the right hand side. And what I found interesting about this is it highlighted over to the left in yellow what it wants to change. So it picked up five words. It shows them over here and it has the suggestions down here. So maybe instead of constantly, I really meant to say we are continuously. So I'm going to select that. So there's one example of it. I'm going to close it. To show you one more time, I'm going to do an undo, control Z. This time I'm going to right click the word constantly and pull up rewrite. This time it only found the three words, but maybe it's saying, hey, did you mean to say we are continually or we keep so this rewrite feature is actually pretty cool when you have a lengthy document and you feel like you're using the same terms. So it's just simply a right click and there it is. Also showed you the grammar options for inclusiveness. And coming up next week I'm going to talk about my favorite web camera, the Logitech C920. It's the same camera I'm using to record my videos for the last three years. If you like the C920 or if you like my videos, subscribe. There's a link to order the C920 from Amazon. Thank you for your time. Have a great weekend.